Hi, this is Ed from Wright. Today, let's talk about lawnmowers and kids. So this is a very debatable topic because the two sides of this is, you know, complete kids and mowers don't mix. And then there's a lot of people that are going to offend that saying, oh, it's an American rite of passage that kids ride on the mower with their parents. And, and you know, we, oh, well, we do it safely or we do it with the blades off or whatever. But um, I'm here to say that you have to make a, a, a clean cut you know, rule on this. You can't make it very situational. And it's not necessarily as much because of the immediate hazard of the child near the mower. It's what is happening in the child, in the mind of the child, right? <clears throat> so, you know, some people say, oh, well, you know, it's sunny, it's flat, it's, I've got control of the machine, there's no hills, the blades are off, and I'm giving rides. Or you're, you know, on a lawn tractor with a trailer giving kids a ride or whatever. And, um, you know, the thing here is not that um, it's not just the inherent risk of the machine, it's the risk of the child walking up to somebody who's not paying attention or careless with the machine. Right? So, what's our rule about mowers? Um, that you can't go near them. And if the mower's engine starts, where should you be? Um, inside. Where should you be? Inside. That's right. Where should you be? She didn't have much to say. She knows. So, you know, that, that's my rule. I don't give the kids ride, rides on the mowers. If I, I'm going to turn the key to start the engine, they're in the house. Um, <clears throat> because what, what you don't want to have happen is a child to think that, oh, well, dad's on the mower and it's safe and I can ride with them. Because then they'll chase after you wanting to get on the mower. Or, you know, you may have another family member who's not paying attention mowing and the child running up to them thinking it's safe when... Um, they, you know, they've got their headphones on, they're listening to music, and they go make a turn, and they're not looking, whatever. Those are the risks, and you need the child. What do we need, what do we need the baby to think? That's not safe to go near the mower. Yep, and we need the baby to know that they should be where when the mower's running. Mm -hmm. Where? What? Where should the baby be? Inside. That's right. Should be inside when the mower's on, the baby? You shake your head? So, if the neighbor, if the neighbor's landscape company comes, what do you do? Go inside. Yep. Now, what if the blades are off? Is the mower safe? No. It's no, because the baby could still run up to it and get hit, or the baby can't. Can the baby tell if the blades are on or off? No. no. Now, as kids get older, they can start making a little bit uh, better risk assessment. For example, do you know if the blades are on or off? Yeah. How do you know? It sounds different. It does sound different. Yep. Can you tell if the blades are on or off? Yes. Yep. But does that mean you're allowed to be outside? No. Why should you not be outside? But what does the baby think if you're outside? It's safe. Yeah, the baby would think it's safe, right? So everybody has to be inside, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and that's what we do, right? And so the thing about uh, when, when you're cutting properties and there's a kid in sight, you've got to be really careful because uh, you don't know what that kid's been exposed to. It's just like... Um, it's like a, a pigeon, right? And a pigeon that's grown up on the boardwalk uh, thinks it's okay to come up to humans and get a french fry, whereas a pigeon in the countryside is going to be real shy of humans, right? So you don't know what that kid's been exposed to, and it could be that their parent gives them rides all the time, and they want to come running up to you and you know chase after the machine and think that's fun. Um, so, you know, as a commercial landscaper, you see kids just shut the whole thing down because you don't know what they've been exposed to. You know, make contact with the ch child's parents or with the child and establish with them that they're going to be, um, you know, in the other property. They understand they can't be near or they're inside or whatever. But don't kind of wait and see or let your crews wait and see uh, what how a kid's going to react because they have the ability to just pop up out of nowhere. Um, Okay, so that's running machines. Now, what do we do if the machine's off? Are you allowed to play with the machine if I'm not around and the machine's no. off? No, right? Are you, are you allowed to play with the mower when it's off and Dad's not home? No. No, right? So, you know, even there, there's risks, right? So, um, you know, kids are like raccoons. If anything can be twisted, turned, or broken, it'll be done by kids. And so, what would happen if we left the key on the machine and one of the babies climbed up on um, it? They might turn it. Yeah, what else might they do? Um, maybe lower the deck and then someone else could get hurt. Yep. What might they do to the brakes? Um, release 
release them? They could release the brakes, right. So, you know, we don't want the kids playing on the machine if it's unattended. And certainly you don't want to leave the key in the ignition. It's just a lot of liability there and it's kind of stupid to leave the key in the machine. You want to pull the key out so nobody can start the engine, activate it when it's unattended. And then there's other risks. Um, same thing around trucks and trailers. Where's a, where's a dangerous place to be where, when there's a trailer? In between a truck and a trailer. Yeah, why is that? Especially if they're hooked together. Yeah. Because it might move forward or backward and you could get hit. Yep. What's dangerous about a trailer that's unhooked? Um, maybe like there's something holding it up and then maybe it, you could accidentally like make it like move mm -hmm. or... So I can knock it down and then might fall. Mm -hmm. and or like what we used to do when we were kids, we'd all we'd all stand in the back of the trailer until the tongue went way up in the air, and then it would start rolling down the hill. So you know, trailers are not to be played with really either, and especially when they're hooked to a truck, <clears throat> because kids are like raccoons, right? And so you know, with your kids, you need to teach them uh, to not be near until they get older, and they can start making some of the risk assessments, like this young lad here, whereas. This one here doesn't understand any of those risk assessments whatsoever. Now, is there appropriate age where you can have a, a, a kid start using the mower? That's a judgment call that I can't make. Um, you know, obviously someone gets their older teens and there's a place where they can start working with commercial equipment. Um, but apart from that, um, that as, a, as a parent, you have to make your, your, your own choices there. And I certainly can't endorse um, you know, kids, kids operating machinery at any point. Um, but when they're young, they need to understand that any equipment, when, when the engine's running, can be a hazard. They can't play with it when they're unattended. Keep the key out of it. This is no joke. You know, you might say, oh, well, it's 4th of July, it's fun, beers, whatever. That, that's where people get hurt, and then it, it teaches the child to be like one of these pigeons on the boardwalk where it's fun to chase the mower. Um, and in their mind, they, they can't make the risk assessment. And in all their innocence, they get hurt. You really don't want that situation. So please, 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 um, you know, there's there's very specific and helpful details in your owner's manual. Um, please, please, please don't, don't let kids and, and machinery mix, any, any kind of machinery, um, especially when they're younger. Anyhow, I know this is going to be a bit debatable, but um, this, is, this is a rule I've had in my life. A little bit hard for me because I grew up around machinery and, um, and, you know, learn some of these risk, risk assessments at a younger age. Um, but as an adult with my own kids and, and you know, seeing the stories of what can happen, um, I have a, a zero tolerance policy that uh, equipment's running. They got to be inside, even if they're crying about it. Anyhow, hope that's helpful and hope you have a great day.